Hello everybody, my name is Gabe and this is episode 9 to Let's Make Rust. So in this episode we're actually going to be making a little pause menu. Uh, very simple, but you know, we're getting there. And I also did add this little panel here for the UI, but you know, uh, that's not the fun part. The fun part is uh, when we make our pause menu. So yeah, uh, stay tuned and enjoy the video. Alright, so to get started, uh, we're going to actually uh, make a new script here. So I guess we could put this in miscellaneous. And we'll just call this pause manager. Oops, pause manager. And we're going to open that right up. Alright, so once that has opened, uh, we're actually going to uh, remove all of that and make a public pool. Oops, it's a little slow. Public pool is paused, equal to false. And now we're going to make our. Oops. I cannot type today. Uh, we're going to make an update method. Okay, so we're going to do in our update method if is paused is equal to true. And then we're going to do else if is paused is equal to false. Okay, so if is paused is equal to true, we're going to make time uh, delta time is equal to uh, 0 0.0f. So Whoops, time, I'm actually meant time that time scale, my mistake. And otherwise we're gonna do time that time scale is equal to 1.0F. Okay, so basically what's happening here, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, if we are paused, then basically the game is going to freeze. So uh, freeze the game and normal game speed. So our time scale is what our delta time is multiplied by. So things like our player controller, animations, all that, uh, that is multiplied by delta time, like the movement is going to uh, be frozen, basically. So it's going to be multiplied by zero. And uh, so our physics, so rigid bodies are going, our rigid bodies are multiplied by delta time. So if there, if delta time is multiplied by zero, it's just going to be zero. So our game is frozen. Uh, if is paused is true, and if uh, it's not paused, everything's fine, and our time scale is one. So let's go back into Unity, and I'm just really quickly going to make a separate UI game object actually. So make UI canvas. I'm going to go into game. Okay, I'm going to call this uh, pause canvas. And I'm gonna probably, I might just add the pause manager right on. Actually, no, we're gonna make a separate object. Yeah. And we're gonna call this uh, pause manager. And we're gonna drop that script right in there. Okay, uh, so now we're gonna have to get a few things, such as uh, UI. I, we might need it. Yeah, we're gonna need it for later. So we're gonna need Unity Engine.UI. And for now, we're just going to get our public uh, game object pause canvas. So if we are paused, then the pause canvas set active is true. Otherwise, false. So we won't see the pause canvas. Uh, so hide the pause canvas and show the pause canvas. Okay, cool. Let's pause. What's the point? Never mind. Okay. Uh, let's go back in here. And I guess I thought I called this pause manager. Okay, pause manager. And I'm just going to drag our pause canvas into pause canvas here. And now we're actually going to do a uh, key combination. Uh, so let's make a public key code up here. And I'll call this pause key is equal by default to key code dot escape. Okay, cool. And here we're going to do if input dot get key down key. Sorry, not key code. We're going to do pause key. Then we're going to do is paused is equal to the opposite of what is paused is right now. So change is paused to opposite of what it is now. Okay, cool. 
so this should work. We should uh, the pause canvas should show up and stuff. Uh, but actually, we're gonna do in start uh, pause canvas set active false. Okay. Now, let's see. Okay, so let's add something to our pause canvas now. Um, I'm just gonna add a text here. So UI, oops, not a particle system. UI text and center that out. I'll kind of bring it to the top. Maybe make the Y negative 100. Let's try 300. That's too much. 200. Okay, there we go. And I'll just make the say paused. Uh, make it probably white and give it an outline. I like to do that. Looks nice. And make it a little bigger. So 26 is fine. Okay. And pause text. Okay. Now if we start the game, you should see that uh, that pause text went away because in our pause manager, um, on start we actually disabled our pause canvas. As you can see, it's disabled. So if we hit escape now, uh, as you can see, while we move our mouse, um, we are not rotating the camera, the grass isn't moving, these uh, hunger bars and thirst bars are not changing, and it says pause up here. That's uh, obviously not the final product. We're, we're right now going to add a nice blur to the background and perhaps some buttons. Okay, so also before we do that, I kind of want to put a, uh, what do you call it? What is it called? How did I forget? I want to put a panel on the UI for the bars. So I'm just gonna make a panel here. This is, I should have done this a while ago, but I'm gonna put this behind everything. Put it in the bottom right corner. Scale that down a bit. Okay. Oops, I control Y. Move it in the center here. Yeah, okay, and maybe I'll bring it up a little bit, and I want to change the color too, so what did I just do? Okay, change the color, something darker, what does that look like? I don't think the alpha. Okay. That's not perfectly centered, I don't think, but for now, it'll, it'll do. I don't really care too much. Uh, okay, so yeah, that's all done with. Just wanted to add that. Okay, let's do our blur because that's pretty cool. So in our main menu, uh, we're gonna have fun with blur. Actually, no, we have to import the image effects. So we're gonna go to assets, import package, and effects. All right, and we're just gonna hit import. All right, so once that is done, uh, we're just gonna do add component and blur. Let's see how much blur do we want. This is fine, probably blur spread. Let's just leave it the way it was. And so now we're just gonna do every time we pause, um, we're gonna uh, just enable this blur as well. So, oops, reload all, if that pops up, and yes. I'm gonna do a private oh we also have to add a package okay using unity engine dot standard standard maybe it's just standard yeah unity standard assets dot uh, image effects okay and we're gonna add a private blur blur And in start, we're going to get our blur. So blur is equal to uh, game object, define game object with tag, main camera, get component, blur. Okay, so find the blur component on the main camera. And as you can see on the main camera, we do have a tag, uh, main camera. So that's how we're going to find it. We're going to find it through the tag. So just make sure you don't have any other cameras in the scene. 
uh, that have the tag main camera. Okay, and I guess we could do blur dot enable. No, we shouldn't do that actually. We should do instead of disabling the pause canvas, I, uh, we should just do is paused is false. And we're gonna do over here uh, blur dot enable true. So enable blur. Show blur effect. Oops. Okay. And just gonna copy that. Bring it here. Hide and false. Okay. Cool. Now let's just see if this works. Hoping it does. Okay, blur went away. Escape. And boom, we get our nice blur effect kind of. Okay. Sure. So, I guess now we could add a few buttons, such as uh, exit the game. For now, we'll just do exit, I guess. And resume. We'll do exit and resume. And we'll close this off. So, let's go to our pause canvas. UI and button. I'm going to take away the UI sprite. Just regular things like that. And outline. I think that looks pretty nice. And we could, yeah, let's just leave that in the center. Starting to think of it, maybe the pause text should just go, should be anchored from the center. And then Y50. Maybe 100. Yeah. Maybe 75. Right in the middle. That's fine. And button, I'll make this uh, resume button, and then I'll copy it, and this will be exit button, which could be negative 50, and this could be called resume game, and exit game. Okay, cool. Uh, let's now program those buttons. So we're going to have to make these methods public, so let's make a public void um, resume game, which is simply going to uh, make is pause false. So, and we're gonna do public void exit game. That is not how you type. Okay, exit game, and we're gonna do application dot quit. And before that, we're gonna do debug dot log. Uh, Quitting game. And I'm going to do here debug.log uh, resuming game. Okay. Um, the reason I'm putting this here is because you're going to see that the quit game isn't actually going to work in the editor. So we're going to make a build path for the game. So yeah, we're going to learn to do that. And for our exit button, I'm just going to drag in the pause manager, go to the pause manager here, and we're going to find our exit game uh, method. So now every time we click the button, this method will be called. And same thing for resume, except this time we're going to instead use the resume method. So if we go here, resume game. All right, this should work. So escape, resume game, voila, works beautifully. And you can see in our console we get resuming game. And if we hit exit game, you see quitting game. But the game doesn't actually close. So we're going to make a build path for this game. So let's go to file and build settings. Alright, so my target platform is going to be uh, Windows because I'm obviously uh, making this on Windows. Architecture, I just usually leave this at 32 bit or x86. And ignore this stuff for now. You don't need development build or any of this. And player settings, you could leave it the way they are for now. We don't have to worry about this, obviously, just yet. Uh, let's make Rust. And let's see. Uh, Gabe Meister, 1201 tutorial. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm going to hit build. And I guess right inside of the, um, in the project, I usually make a folder called builds. And then I just add their game and then I'll just call this like let's make rust tutorial.exe right and save I do this because uh, when when I would back up my games that I
All right, so once that's done, you should get a folder kind of like this. Um, it would have, you might have this, and you're gonna have your .exe, and you're gonna have data. So let's just open up the let's make Ross tutorial .exe, and we get this nice little window. But eventually, we're gonna rid of this when we make our own little resolution menu inside our game. So I'm gonna select uh, this resolution. Oops, and fantastic, whatever. Yeah. A license expire. Thanks for reminding me. And here we go. We're in our game, and it's a standalone build. And if we hit escape, we could now see uh, the game is paused. Uh, everything's working just fine, as it were, in Unity. So if I hit exit game, uh, it works. So, all right. I think that's where I'm going to leave off for the day. Uh, Tomorrow, I'll probably make a video too. Uh, so I'll make um, some, we're probably gonna work on a main menu. I, I wanna get more into the actual game because I feel like this process has been going um, pretty slow. And yeah, like it shouldn't be going this slow. We should be pretty, like we should be much farther into the game than we are right now. This is still pretty freaking basic. Like there's nothing here other than uh, some terrain trees giant cubes that we could eat and this like really crappy ai but yeah we're we're slowly getting there uh i'm gonna try to pick up the pace a little bit like i should be doing and yeah all right so thank you very much for watching uh i appreciate it uh let me know in the comments what you thought what you guys want uh to see next because i love taking uh, recommendations for the next episode and yeah thanks for watching and have a good one